Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I'd like to talk about that um, Apple Pay is not working on iPhone. So when you just try to set up your Apple Pay, it might be giving you this error called could not set up Apple Pay cash. Apple Pay service are currently unavailable. This is pretty annoying. Um, so if you have the problems uh, on our iPhone, let me tell you how to solve the problems. First of all, all you gotta do here you have to be 100% certain that your internet is working fine. Sometimes your problems can happen for your poor internet connection. So uh, all I want you guys to do is simply enable the airplane mode for 10 to 20 seconds, disable it, or you can switch your network. If you are using Wi-Fi, you can go back to cellular, or if you are using cellular, go back to Wi-Fi and see what happened. Uh, quickly after that, the next very important things that you have to be uh, very mindful of that is your um, billing address. So all I want you to do is open up your settings, Tap on Apple ID, tap Media and Purchases, tap View Account, tap Manage Payments, um, scroll down and open up the billing address from here. And please double check your every information from your billing address is okay. Or all, all you can do, guys, you can simply remove everything from here and re-add your address here, and hopefully that will work. Also, you want to enable the Apple Pay Cash settings on iPhone. So all you can do, you can open up your settings on iPhone, scroll down, tap Wallet and Apple Pay, enable Apple Cash. Make sure you have added a valid card here. Okay. Um, also, um, the card has been set up. If not, tap on the. Just simply go ahead and just tap on your card and set up your Apple Cash first. If you are not going to add your Apple card first, then this will be the problem. Well, the next thing you want to do, you can simply log out your Apple ID and log in back on to see if that works or not. So you can simply open up your settings, tap on your Apple ID, scroll down here, tap log out, and then go ahead and just try to log it back on and see if that even works for you or not. Uh, well, if none of those like helped you out to solve your problem, lastly, all I want you guys to do is just open up your settings one more time. You want to scroll down here, tap on general, you want to scroll down all the way to the transfer and reset iPhone, tap reset, and then tap reset all settings and hopefully it will help you to solve your problems now still if you have anything to ask about this problem please do let me know in the comment sections and i can help you out further see you all around